and welcome to our third pre-match press conference for the 2021 Durand Cup. This is for our game tomorrow against Jamshedpur FC. Uh, we have today with us uh, our head coach, Juan Ferrando, and midfielder, Mohamed Nemil, to take your questions. Uh, the rules are the same. While are not asking a question, you'll be muted. Uh, and if you have a question, please use the raise hand option. Uh, the first few questions will be reserved for the player. Uh, so if you have a question for Nemil, do use the raise hand option. I'll come to you. Uh, Arjunan, uh, please state your name and publication and please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, hello, coach. Hi, Nemil. Uh, my name is Arjunan Asnayar, representing Silis Sports and Games. Yeah, Nemil, my question is for you. The question is that, yeah, as the Duran Cup is one of the most oldest and most prestigious tournament in the world, it will be really exciting to play in this tournament. But with regard to the training facilities and the tough circumstances like training, injury is also a major factor now. How are you taking all this time? I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, can't hear you. I'll, be, I'll repeat the question. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Can you be a yes, bit yes. slower with the question, Arjun? Yeah, okay, okay. okay. As the Duran Cup is one of the most oldest and most prestigious tournament in the world, it will be really exciting to play in this tournament. But with regard to the training facilities and the tough circumstances like rain, injury is also a major factor now. So how are you taking on this challenge as a player? Okay, so after every training session, I meet the physios and the staffs here to take care of myself and also not go really 100% like the physically not really 100 percent the training session to not get injured okay thank you Nimil. thank you coach all the best for tomorrow's game yeah. thank you guys uh shrivats uh hello am i audible yes you are uh question for Nimil. uh Nimil, you had a very good loan stint uh, in the spain how happy are you to uh, return to fc goa yeah, I think I'm really happy to that I joined FC Go for that. There's so many, the culture and everything is really good here. And also the uh, coach and some of the players are from Spain and um, they are really helping me in all the ways and I'm really happy. Uh, just another question, Nimil, uh, for a moment, just uh, forget that you are sitting next to head coach and uh, <laughs> share us uh, how has been your first conversation with the head coach uh, because uh, he knows Spanish and uh, you also know the Spanish, you speak Spanish. How has it been uh, training under him and uh, adapting to his tactics? Okay, so I had a chat with him in Spain. Like we, were, we spoke in English, uh, obviously. But yeah, he was telling me about the challenges and the competition that I'm going to get here in FC Goa. It was, it was really good, it helped me mm, in coming here in FC to join FC Thank Thanks you, Nimil. Wishes for the upcoming you, RCC. You. Yeah, the floor is now open to questions for the coach as well, but I'll go in order of the hands that I see. Uh, Hari, first, please go ahead. All right. Uh, hi, am I audible? Yes, you are. Yeah, I also, uh, I'll also begin with my question for Nemil. First of all, yeah, hi, I'm Hari from Kelnow.com. So yeah, I have a question for Nemil. First of all, uh, Nemil, congrats on your first goal for FC Goa. Uh, it was a very good goal. Uh, so uh, just now you answered a question on how uh, the FC Goa, uh, you know, uh, coaching staff and the players and all have helped you. Uh, in your training session so far. Can you be uh, a bit more descriptive and tell me how well uh, the other players, especially the seniors, the foreign uh, Spanish players that FC Goa have, etc., have helped you in uh, the training sessions in, you know, coping with the team so far? Yes, in all the training sessions, if I'm doing something wrong or something that I'm confused with, they help me, they talk while the training is going on. They, like... They are all really helpful and they are all really good. I'm really happy for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, Hari, uh, Marcus? Yeah, I, I have a question for Nemil. Nemil, hi, this is Marcus from the Times of India. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Nemil, uh, you know, uh, like you spoke earlier about uh, you having a discussion with the coach and the coach 
telling you about the challenges that you'll face at FC Goa uh, yeah. compared to all that you have done in the past. Uh, you must have seen there are a lot of players who play in your position, uh, including one foreign option in Alberto Noguera. Uh, yes. My question is, uh, how confident are you that you can actually convince the coach and break into maybe the starting eleven and you know earn enough playing time uh, during the ISL? Yeah, I think I think I give my best in the training session, so that's the only thing I can do for the to get game time. And also, I think I'm able to convince the coach in the match. Uh, Nimal, you know, I, I spoke earlier to to Alberto, and he told me that you know he talks to you a lot, and Alberto is somebody who who plays in the same position as you all. Can you tell me, you know, what do you all normally discuss, and how, what kind of influence that he has on 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 your game? Okay, so first I talked to him about the scanning. I'm not really good at that, but he was he he was like we had a ten more than ten minute conversation after the training about this okay. uh, this thing. And, sorry, no, no, continue, please. Yeah, so he was really helping me in that way, and also be he helped me during the training sessions if I'm doing doing something wrong. Then thanks, Nevin, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll take some questions for the coach now. Uh, anyone has a question for the coach? Uh, Siddharth, I see your hands up. Yeah, I, I had the question for Nemil, but I, I also have a question for the coach. Uh, hi, coach. Uh, I just uh, want to know uh, uh, how, uh, how is uh, the injury for Otis going? Like, how, how has it, you know, uh, interrupted your planning in the way you wanted the team to take shape in the preseason just before the ISL, and how bad does it look like? How? How bad does it look like? Now it's a uh, it's difficult moment because we don't know exactly. Uh, we know about uh, Jorge is not possible to continue to play in this tournament, but uh, in this moment uh, I hope that. The regates of the, the Duran Cup uh, to pay control and protect the players because if they, they I know everybody talking about to improve this tournament, but if in this tournament uh, the players are coming and then uh, they have important injuries, the teams don't like to to participate here. And I, I hope in this moment, uh, president and commissions uh, to decide to protect really protect the players because. Uh, Okay, now was with Jorge Ortiz, but maybe in future is for another place, and I don't like it. Thank you, Coach. Flavio? Yeah, uh, good afternoon, Coach. Uh, Flavio from Times of India. So, how do you approach the remaining games, uh, Coach, in, in terms of fielding uh, foreign players? Does your approach change? Uh, will you be more careful? No, in our case, it's so easy. Uh, Durant Cup is a prestigious cup. We are talking with the, with the, with the, with the people around of me, of the coaching staff. It's a great moment to participate with foreign players and also young players. Uh, because it's, repeat, it's a prestigious, prestigious cup. Uh, but uh, I'm very upset. I'm very upset about the, 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 <laughs> The level of the, the referees, because in this case it's not protect the players. Uh, for me, repeat, uh, sure. If in case uh, now, for example, they have a good opportunity, Goa is coming here with a foreign players with a good squad. Maybe in the next season, sure, with two or three teams wants to come here and to participate with uh, the best players. But uh, after this moment, we don't know. We don't know uh, because uh, it's it's so dangerous. It's uh, Really, it's so dangerous for, for our squad. Thank you, Coach. Uh, I think two of already had a question. Uh, Sandeep? Hi, Coach. Uh, my question is, you can answer it. I think Ravi is also on the call. So if he wants to take it, he can as well. It's about the injury. So have you spoken or written to the uh, organizers? And if so, have they written back to you? Got any comments from them? No, uh, you know, um, repeat, it's the same. It's like, for example, uh, after the game, I was talking with the match commission. And he, I don't know if was, he was laughing because uh, for the club, for the tournament, for everybody, it's not, 
a good moment when there is one injury, like in the, like for example, for Jorge Ortiz. Uh, his job is to protect the players. His job is to protect all the teams. His job is to decide the best referees. And uh, <laughs> in this case, I uh, repeat, I'm very, very, very upset. Uh, normal, the motivation of the players now is, is different. And of course, uh, about the uh, uh, normal training, to normal working, to normal participate, or maybe decide to not participate more because uh, at the end, uh, the most important is the match commissions to, to, to protect the players because uh, they want to come here. We want here uh, to participate with the best players, with the best lineups. But for us, now is a big question for me. It's, it's necessary to, uh, to stay here and uh, work, or maybe stay in Goa and prepare the precision. Uh, since uh, Ravi, uh, would you like to weigh in on this? Hi, guys. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, Sandeep, to answer your question a little bit more directly, um, we have written to the tournament um, organizers as well, uh, sort of, you know, clearly outlining the sour taste that is left uh, with us. Um, sure, tackles can go in, in a football game. I mean, that's the nature of the sport. So. We're not particularly concerned about the fact that, um, you know, the tackle went in and such, and we're not trying to victimize any player or any individual incident. But we're just hoping that there are rules and regulations in place, and we hope they'll act upon that, you know. Um, as organizers, we want to um, we want them to show us that our players can be protected. Obviously, the coaches are there, the foreign players are there, and there's a little bit of fear within the team. But if the right action is taken, and it's allowing us to understand that there is safety for our players and our players are protected, We'd love to continue in this tournament um, and continue to, you know, keep sending our strongest teams possible. Um, so we've written to the Federation. Unfortunately, we've not had a response of them as yet, and we continue to keep following up. But um, that does leave us a little bit disconcerted in terms of, you know, how our players are, um, you know, sort of approaching this. And you, you've heard the sentiments of our head coach as well. So it is a concern that we have that, you know, the issue has not yet been addressed. Thanks, Ravi. Uh... Srivats, you have another question? Yeah. Uh, question to head coach. Uh, coach, uh, recently the ISL schedule uh, got released. Have you gone through it? And uh, uh, do you think the schedule uh, might have improved uh, much better? Um, the truth, to be honest, for me, is uh, don't think in now in, in the future games. I'm thinking in the, in the, the training today. I'm thinking in the next game tomorrow in the against Jankers Uh We know this is a future, and uh, the most important now is working and improve my team. Then uh, we'll see the future. It's the best moment to to start with uh, Mumbai or better. Uh, this is uh, so far in football. I think is is uh, necessary to put focus in in our present. In our present is uh, uh, to prepare the team, uh, to check the young players. And, uh, and then to improve like a team. Uh, this is, uh, believe me, it's 100% our, our focus, the coaching staff. Uh, the ESL is in November. <laughs> we have time, uh, a lot of time. And then I think it's the most important and uh, not lose uh, the energy, not lose the focus in the in future. Coach, uh, Nemil just returned from the loan stint from Spain. Uh, also, we heard that uh, Nemil had other uh, loan offers from Spain itself. Uh, but what made you think that uh, it's the right time to bring back Nemil to FC Goa and uh, introduce him to the uh, Indian Super League? We hope this is uh, our uh, target. Uh, I know he was playing uh, in Spain. Uh, I was uh, talking with uh, some people around of him. This is the first step. Second uh, step, when I was in Barcelona, I, I tried to watch some games, but in this moment, uh, Emil was a little injury. It was difficult for me, but uh, then I had a meeting with him to explain about uh, our methodology, explain our uh, our target. He's coming with us now. Our target is to improve, and of course, uh, if he's ready, uh, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking about if he's young or. For me, I try to to find the best lineup, and he is ready. Of course, he, he can participate in the lineup or in substitutions. Yes, it's uh, this is the the truth for us. Uh, at the moment, his performance is good. He wants to learn a lot. He wants to to be ready about uh, his physical condition, his mentality also, 
he, he understands about this is a team and he needs to, to help the team. And for me, this is uh, the first step. I'm happy. I'm very happy about it because he knows about this step. And then, of course, day by day, it's necessary to improve in tactical and, and to help him because maybe he has chances in, uh, in ESL and it's very important uh, being ready. Also, he's an uh, <laughs> in, in, in like in person and in the pitch and also with the team. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Hari, uh, you have another question? Yeah, I have a, a few questions for... Uh, Can you coach? just ask one right now and I'll come back to you another? All right, all right. Yeah. So, uh, hi coach. Uh, good afternoon. First of all, congrats on qualifying to the quarterfinals. You've done that already. Uh, so, my question is, so uh, just now, a while ago, you said uh, FC Goa are still considering whether to, you know, approach this, uh, continue approaching this tournament seriously or whether, you know, return back to Goa and uh, resume your preseason training. Let's keep that aside for a bit. Let's talk about tomorrow's game. FC Goa have already, uh, you know, advanced to the quarterfinals, as I said. And tomorrow's game against Jamshedpur, it gives you an opportunity to actually take things easy. So, will you be doing that or trying for the win once again? No, no, no. Our... Uh... Our focus is to prepare the whole team. I'm not thinking about uh, now uh, to protect some players or no, no, no. We have uh, a team and uh, we need to prepare the team. We are not exist two teams and maybe this is a good player. No, 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 of course not. This is not exist in my, in my squad. Uh, for me, uh, I want to protect. Uh, now we are uh, 29 players and we want to protect 29 players. Uh, also, all we discuss because for me it's, it's seriously if exists injury in Jorge, if exists with a critic or uh, with exists in case of a Sellington. For me, everybody is very important in my squad. All the players are very important. All the players uh, uh, we want to work with them because the ESL uh, it's a difficult. It's difficult because you know play two three days new game two three days and it's very important. Everybody be ready. For us, because uh, you know, we prepare some plans. You know, we have not only one plan; we have a lot of plans, and we need all the all the players. All right. Thank you, coach. Thanks, coach. Thanks, Ali. Uh, Siddharth, you have another question? Yes. Uh, my question is to Nemil uh, right now. So, uh, we already like all of us spoke about how uh, the foreign contingent is helping you, uh, likes of Alberto, Hedovedia. And everyone, the fact that you speak Spanish, and how has it been with the Indian contingent with Indian players like Brandon? And who are the ones you're getting along with, and how are they helping you, you know, grow more as a football player? Yeah, so not only foreign players, also the Indian players are helping me, especially Glenn. He's helping me a lot. In I ask him whenever I need his help, and he's always there to help me. In the training session as well as in the matches. Okay, so Glenn is to Glenn is your go-to guy in the squad. Okay. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thanks. Uh Sandeep, uh, you have another question? Yeah, it's just to follow up on uh, what uh, Juan has already said, because I don't want to mishear it. Did you say about the participation? You are rethinking participation this year or to continue participation or to not come next year? Like, can you uh, clear that part? We have uh, one plan, and of course, uh, everybody is ready to participate. This is not a change uh, our plans. All the most important for me is uh, to prepare uh, all the players and to prepare the team. And when not uh, next is. Uh, it exists uh, some players now they are uh, out or we want to protect no we are continuing here and the moment uh, our plan is the same to prepare everybody and to prepare the team but uh, of course in case uh, if uh, in case of the match commission don't take a good decisions maybe we need uh, uh, to come back with goa Sandeep, if it's not clear, I'll just clarify the team is continuing and there are no plans of uh, coming back to Goa. What uh, I think one had said is contemplating for future uh, participation. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. 
No, uh, coach, uh, I said that there is no plan to come back to Goa. We wait. Uh, tomorrow we have a game and we continue in the same plane. But we'll see. We'll see because, uh, repeat, I am very upset about the, uh, the match commission in the last game because he was lousy. It is a big injury for this. And this moment, I think, is not uh, necessary. The uh, laughing was mine when it exists one problem like this. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Hari, do you have any last question? Hi, yes. Uh, so I wanted to ask uh, the coach. So FC Goa, uh, they kind of lost a, a potential star player in Ishan Pandita during the transfer window. So meanwhile, uh, Devendra Murgaonkar has step up, step, stepped up. And how happy are you with his performances so far, both in training and during the Durant Cup games? Totally, totally. I'm very happy with Devendra because uh, the last season, he was out of the squad, the squad uh, the first two months, more or less. Uh, but for me, he's a great player because uh, after the game, after the out of the squad, he was training, learn, uh, working, hard working. And then uh, everybody knows about uh, his level in Champions League, his level in, uh, in the last games to help a lot in the team. Uh, for me, he's an excellent, he's excellent person and also he's an excellent player. Of course, he needs to improve. Uh, he needs uh, to understand some uh, points in, uh, in attack, in positional attack. But uh, now it's, it's our job. It's our job because uh, he's in good way. He's... Uh, He's a smart player, and and I hope uh, this season uh, uh, will be a a very great, amazing player in, for for SV going future. All right, I have. Uh, I can I ask just one more question? This is uh, actually more out of my my own concern and liking for the player. Uh, okay, uh, Hari will keep this short, and after this, we'll take the last two questions for everyone. Please. All right. Uh, just a short question. I can can just uh, uh, Coach Juan uh, give us an official update on uh, Ortiz's injury. How long is he expected to be out of action? I think uh, we don't know. But uh, th this this tournament is not possible to to participate. Then uh, we'll see what happens. All right. All right. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Sandeep, is there a question? Yeah. Uh, my question is to Nemel. Uh, being from Kerala, you can see all the you know love and support coming from your way through social media and things. So, um, how are you dealing with it? Has life changed and uh, all these things in, since the last two games that you played here? Yeah, to be honest, I'm not really looking at the message, looking at the uh, messages that are coming through social media right now, because I think that's not really important for me right now. So, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really thankful to everyone for sending me positive messages. But, yeah, I'm not really looking at the social media messages. Okay, good. good. All the best. Thank you. Thanks, Sandeep. Uh, Marcus? Yeah, uh, I have a question for Nemil. Nemil, uh, you know, uh, you scored the goal against uh, Sudeva and everybody, you know, everybody could see that it was such a wonderful goal. Yeah. Could you talk us through the goal? I mean, uh, how did you plan to shoot at that uh, at that particular moment uh, uh, with your left foot? Uh, and how much confidence does it give a player like you after scoring a goal like that? Yeah, so that's what like that's what like uh, last minute of the first half, and I had some space to dribble, and I dribbled. Then I thought of like I was trying to shoot with my right foot. But there weren't space over there, but so I changed my direction to the left foot and I just tried. And yeah, <laughs> that's how I scored. Okay. Thanks. Coach, all the best for the match tomorrow. Thank you. Any more questions? Or I'll bring this to an end. Sandeep, uh, do you still have a question? Or no, no, sorry, my bad. Okay, uh, I don't see any hands up. Uh, so thank you, guys. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Namil, for joining us. Thank you, all the guys, uh, for joining us. We'll see you next time before the quarterfinals. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Thank you.